So Jesus once said to his disciples, pray then like this, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Of course, it's the Lord's Prayer, probably the most recited words in human history. But what I want to suggest to you today, my friends, is that's actually a problem. Because we can forget how revolutionary this moment was, especially these two little words right at the beginning, our Father, which is what I want to focus on with you for today's devotional. You know, with this one word, Father, Jesus forever altered the way that people thought about God. With this one word, Father, Jesus forever altered the way Christians pray. You see, before this moment, the Jews did not refer to God as Father. This just simply was not the way they spoke to Him. In the Old Testament, God is very rarely referred to as Father. And even in the places where He is, it's a title of authority and power over the nation of Israel. But what Jesus is doing here is completely different. He's speaking of a relationship that is now very intimate, relational, close. Jesus shows up on the scene and not only does he refer to God as his father, but he says to his disciples, you now too can call him father because I'm here. Because of my life and my ministry and my pending death and resurrection, when you come to God in prayer, you can speak to him the way that a little girl speaks with her daddy. Now, of course, this presents us with a challenge Because in our culture, we have a father problem. I once heard a story of a Spanish father and son who became estranged. The son ran away from his father and the father went after his son. He searched for his son for many months to no avail. And finally, in desperation, he took out an ad in a Madrid newspaper. And the ad simply said, Dear Antonio, Meet me on Saturday at noon at the office of this newspaper. All is forgiven. I love you, your father. Well, that Saturday showed up, and you know what happened? Over 200 Antonios showed up looking for forgiveness from their father. Here we have our God and Father through Christ inviting us into a relationship of intimacy where we speak to Him as our Father. But for many of us, this is a problem because for us, our Father was distant or our Father made us earn His love or our Father was abusive or a tyrant. And so for many of us to pray to God as our Father is a problem. But my friends, Don't miss this precious opportunity. Lean in. God, our Heavenly Father, is not like so many of our earthly fathers. He's good. He's not a tyrant. He's not abusive. He doesn't make you earn anything. When you come to Him, He doesn't want you to earn anything. He doesn't want a relationship with the projected you. He doesn't want a relationship with the you that's trying. He doesn't want a relationship with the you that's striving. He wants a relationship with you. Will you pray to Him today as your Heavenly Father, your good Father? And of course, not only is He our Father, but He's our Father in Heaven, which we'll focus on next time. Tune in. God bless you, my friends. Love you.